More rain is coming uh, to the River Valley tonight, which could force people out of their homes. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill is in Fort Smith with how people are preparing for all the unknowns. That's what I've been doing for the last three or four days. I've been busy, busy, uh, and hardly getting no rest. Busy preparing for the worst as historic flooding from the Arkansas River continues to rise. And I've got about two more foot that the water can come up before going in the house. And I'm hoping and praying that it don't, that it slows down. But uh, after tonight, we'll find out. Rising water levels have already overtaken this neighborhood on North T Street. You can see everyone is evacuated and garbage is just floating. We've been putting a lot of sandbags around it. Just down the street. The backyard is basically all underwater. No doubt about it. It's the first flood that Harold Hunter has seen in his 39 years living in Fort Smith. After it got to around 37 and a half, it started coming over the bank into the yard. As Sebastian and Crawford counties prepare for potential flash flooding tonight. But I can reassure the public um, that we have been working together and it has been very impressive um, looking at it from my perspective just to see the great men and women that we have who are committed to keeping this community safe. Hunter is looking to a higher power so that this water doesn't force him out. Oh, I'm going to pray to the good man up above, to Jesus Christ, that he will help me out. Yes. In Fort Smith, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.